Some of them are a little bit nightmare inducing, but it's fine. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Cars Craft Corner. Today I am celebrating Valentine's Day by cartoonizing my friends to make custom Valentine's Day cards for them. It is a super duper easy process that anyone can do. If you know how to trace lines, you can do this. It's very easy. I would really love to do everybody in my life, but I just didn't have that much time this week, so I only picked a couple of people to make cards for. I don't want anyone to feel left out, just to let you know, I appreciate every single one of you. So, without further ado, let's jump on in, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to cartoonize your friends and make enemies. So the first thing I have to do is compile my pictures, um, which I have spent several days mulling over. Um, but here are the pictures that I have chosen to recreate. So here I am getting ready to dive into the world of Procreate. That is the app that I use and I use my iPad and Apple Pencil. The first thing I do is I take my reference picture and I just paste it onto the background and then I lower the opacity to about 50% so that I can still see the image that I'm working on, but I can go over and really see my lines on a layer above the picture layer. Um, I'm not too worried about the quality here. I can always clean up my lines later, but right now I'm just trying to get them down so that I can add the color and fix it up at the end. So there's my first one done. I repeated this process. I'm using the Studio Pen in Procreate. It's just a nice smooth pen that I like. And again, for some reason, this one I was doing really, really fast. This is sped up to about 9,000%, but uh, it, I was still going really fast, so I wasn't worried too much about the details in this one, as you can see. And then, by my third one, I was already getting very tired, but I had about a dozen more to do. So, you know, uh, changed my position, moved to a different room, got comfortable. At one point I even tried to con someone else into doing it for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? <laughs> This is what he created. Oh boy! <laughs> Mom! I'm going down! <laughs> and then I started to make this monstrosity, um, which I didn't realize how bad it was until afterwards, but looking at it now, I'm like, how was I not getting nightmares from this. It is quite frightening. So here are my finished outlines and now it is time to get to the coloring. So my coloring I do on another separate layer and I usually go either over top of the lines or behind them. I think behind them is a little bit easier but for some reason I go over top of them sometimes just to keep it interesting I guess. But uh, yeah, just throwing the color on. I try to keep each different shape one color. I don't do any shading or anything like that. Uh, I just sort of throw the color down. And the cool thing about Procreate is you can outline something and then just fill it by dragging the color down, which makes it a lot faster because yeah, coloring takes quite some time. It is very therapeutic though, I have to say. I was enjoying it quite a lot. Um, for the first little bit. And then I just go in afterwards and I fix up all the lines. And the nice thing about having different layers is that I can just switch between the layers and fix them up um, that way. And then I'm just adding any extra little details. And then I always use like a pop of color in the background just because I feel like that seems very like cardish um, because they are Valentine's cards. So same thing, um, just throwing the color down onto this one. 
Um, for some reason, I was struggling a bit here, but it's fine. I really should have redone this one, or at least tried to fix my face. I fixed other things. I fixed my shirt, I fixed Courtney's mouth, I fixed the little lines, but I didn't fix my face. My face still looks like this. There we go. I'm not sure why Courtney's skin tone is so ghastly, but that's just the way it is, I guess. So yes, you color for what feels like days. Now that I have spent years of my life designing, it is time to get to the fun stuff. Which is, well, that was fun too. It's all fun here. So the next step in this process is to save your images. I like to save them as PNGs with no background. So I just make it like that and then I save it to the device by hitting save to device. I have some envelopes that I want to use and they're quite tiny. So I'm gonna try and make the card about that size. Let's get this done. So I'm exporting them as PNGs and saving them to my device. And then from my photos, I'm gonna try to print them. This one I cut off a little bit, but that's okay. I think it looks still pretty cool. Okay. I have those ones all printed off. I'm gonna get my little slicer. I think this is called a paper cutter. I don't know if it has a real name or not. I'm going to first cut these to size and I wanna leave the equal amount on the other side so that I can fold it into a card. So I'm just gonna cut this one like so and then I'm gonna fold it over to make it into a card and then I'll know exactly how much to cut off on the other side. So now it is a very cute little card. And I'm gonna write some lovely messages on the inside. We'll continue that for the rest of the cards. Slice it. Who said Valentine's was only for lovers? If you love your friends, Gonna make it much more interesting. Now what I have are some really adorable personalized valentines that I can send to my friends and hopefully make them feel very special because that's what they are. All that's left to do is to fill these out and get them in the mail. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below to let me know you were here. I put out a new video every Saturday morning, so I would love to see you guys here this time next week. But until then, always remember to be kind, stay curious, and get crafty. Bye for now. Sometimes the magic don't happen.